Hello, this is Paul, and uh, welcome to lesson three, and the first portion. And we're going to get into a very important uh, aspect of spreadsheets, and uh, that is to realize how they work. Um, when we were in school, we uh, kind of went into uh, the idea that you know everything was in the same order as it written and uh, if you would write your uh, uh, calculation in a horizontal line you would start on the left side and proceed to the right and come up with our answer now on my uh, uh, example here uh, we would on a calculator if I took 2 plus 3 times 4 uh, we would start on the right side at the left side I mean and start with 2 and add 3 that would be 5 times 4 would equal 20 uh, with uh, likewise on a calculator uh, it would come up the same way uh, however uh, if we just move the signs around and have 2 times 3 now we have a 6 plus 4 now the same set of numbers would equal 10 as you can see that just changing the, the uh, uh, signs around for what we want to take place is uh, uh, going to change the answer however with a spreadsheet it's a little bit more fixed than that in school we did our math left to right in school 2 th uh, plus 3 times 4 is 20 likewise in school 2 times 3 would be 6 plus 4 equals 10 it's the same thing as what I just said with a spreadsheet, multiplying and dividing come first. No matter where it is in the equation. Now I'm calling it an equation on purpose. After the multiplying and dividing is done, then the addition and subtraction comes second. Now, when there is more than one multiplier or division, it goes from right uh, left to right in order but when there are two on the same level then we take it left to right okay if there's only one it goes to that one first then it goes and deals with the addition and subtraction the same way now when there's more than one addition or subtraction it is an equation left to right applies that's what I just told you the order of the execution can be changed by the use of brackets. For example, in our uh, uh, numbers that we were talking about, the make, the 2 and the 3 add together before the multiplier kicks in, you would put them inside uh, around the brackets. Be sure not to use square brackets or uh, curly brackets or anything else, but uh, use the the rounded brackets, okay? After that, then it will take place that way. The equation changes. 2 plus 3 times 4 equals what? 14. 4 times 2 plus 3, see we change the order. Okay, now we have 4, 8, plus 3 would be 11. Now, with the same order from the beginning, and we put in the soft brackets, the rounded brackets, or uh, parentheses, we have 2 plus 3, which is 5, that comes first. And then we do the multiplier of 4 and get 20. Also, if we turn it around the other way, it will jump to the uh, to parentheses and do that first and we come up with the same answer. The following is also true if we have we have more than one uh, addition in there but both of them are separately treated to come first. So we're going to do our additions first so we have 5 times 4 which is 20. Okay? So uh, uh, it doesn't matter what the order is if you have uh, the soft brackets in there that uh, they do come first. I hope this has uh, been helpful for you to understand this principle 
that when you go in and put in numbers for an equation on a spreadsheet, you might come up with an unexpected answer, but apply this principle and you will realize what's going on. Okay, once you get this digested, be ready for the next section. Thank you.